In this video, I'll show you three options for saving your Blackboard stuff. The first one is going to be how to save and download your grades in Blackboard. The second one I'll show you is how to save and download all of your files in your Blackboard course. In both of those options, the content is available to you outside of Canvas and outside of Blackboard. That is, you can unzip the files and open them on your local computer to access the files that are inside. The third option, however, that's not the case. The third option is creating a course export file that won't allow you to open up that file locally to access what's inside. So let me show you these options now. Option one was how to save and download your grades. You'll be able to do that from the control panel, grade center, full grade center, then go over to the button that says Work Offline and Download. Here you can choose to download the full Grade Center, Tab Delimited. You can keep the defaults here. It's going to download it to your computer. You'll hit the Submit button and you'll get a zip file with that um, Tab Delimited Excel file that you can save locally on your machine. That's Option one for just saving and downloading your grades from this course. What if you want to just save and download the files that are in this course? In that case, you're going to go to Control Panel, Content Collection, and then click on the first link, which is the link to all of the files in the content collection for this course. You'll find a big long scrolling list here, multiple pages of files listed here. If you really want to save all of these files, then you're first going to want to go down and make sure that you're showing all pages on one screen. Then you'll have one big scrolling list of all of the items. Then you can select the checkbox at the very top, which should select everything, and then you have a download package button. This is going to zip everything up into a package, into a zip package, that gets downloaded to your computer. Let me minimize my browser here. You'll see that I get a, I have a zip file way down there at the bottom that's getting downloaded to my computer right now. So that was the second option, just saving and downloading all my files. I would be able to unzip that file locally and open it up and see, access all the files that are inside of that zip file. It's not necessary for me to have to import that into Canvas, for example. The third option though, remember the, the export file, I would have to open it inside of Canvas. So the third option is really going down to Packages and Utilities, Export Archive Course. Here's where I'm gonna decide, I hit Export Package, I decide what I want to include in my course export package and it's going to, I would submit this and it's going to create a zip file for me. But that zip file that gets created and downloaded then is really only something that I can import into another LMS, a learning management system. So I could import it into another Blackboard system, but in our case, import it into the new Canvas server. So I hope that helps to reduce some confusion on three options for saving your Blackboard stuff. Remember, the first one, saving and downloading grades, that's a grade a spreadsheet that you'll be able to open locally on your local computer, on your own computer, without having to import it into anything. Then saving and downloading your files from the content collection. You have a way to download those, zip them all up, and open them locally on your computer, access them, and see if that's something that you do want to open up, um, upload into Canvas. And then the third was creating the course archive in packages and utilities. And that's the one that differs in that you'd have to import that into Canvas in order to see what's in it. You can't open up a zip file from Blackboard, an export file from Blackboard locally on your machine and expect to be able to open and access the files that are inside. I hope that explains those three options. Thanks for watching.